kidding. Nick said today that you were one of the two most consistent offensive linemen this year. Like, like, does that mean anything to you coming from him? Um, you know, you take it with a grain of salt. Uh, I just try to go out and prepare each week, and hopefully, you know, my preparation will lead into the game, and you know, we'll have a good game. So, how was it? I mean, you were at the beginning of the year last uh, fall. You were last preseason. You were competing with Cam. You know, I guess how did that? Haven't seen him have his success. How do you kind of handle that going redshirt in the year? Obviously. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if I was really competing with Cam. Right. It's kind of hard to do that. <laughs> okay. But um, yeah, just seeing you know how far he's come along and how much success he's having, it makes you feel good that you know you came in with him and just helping him get better and pushing him and, and pushing me too. So it's it's fun. What were you able to improve on strength wise, mentally, mentally during that redshirt year? Um, yeah, I'd say both. You know. Just getting the playbook down as far as offensive linemen, that's a pretty big deal. You know, we got a lot of different stuff going on. And um, strength wise, you know, playing in the SEC, um, coming out of high school, it's hard to go in the trenches right away and hang with those guys. So just getting the strength, you know, and Coach Cochran, he did a great job. So, so I'd say that. How would you describe what you do? I mean, different offensive linemen do different things. Some are, some are big physical guys, some are more reliant on their athleticism. What are you? Um, oh, that's kind of a tough question. I'd say more of like a smart offensive lineman and just kind of base my play off of, you know, knowing what to do and trying to get there fast and efficiently. So, so it sounds like Ryan Kelly is Ryan, somebody that you've yeah, just kind of yeah. like an asset. Yeah, I mean, different position, but similar, you know, hopefully I can be as good as Ryan Kelly someday. But um, similar players, I'd say more. Just in terms of that feedback, so I don't know if Nick has said anything like that to you, but what kind of feedback have you gotten from whether it's Nick or different coaches? Um, you know, they don't really compare a lot. Uh, I don't like to compare myself either, but I... Uh, well, no, not in terms of comparing, just how, how you've played. Like, what have they told you about how you've done through the first five games? Um, you know, they'd like to see me just improve just a little bit of everything. I mean, um, I think I need to improve this you know, myself as well. So just keep getting better and be more consistent as a whole unit as well. So not just me. Have you gotten any attention, positive attention for uh, Derek Henry Block? I know they, on the telecast, they obviously point you and Dominic out for opening for up that lane. Georgia game? Yeah. I mean, no, I just my family saying little stuff like, oh, they said your name or something, <laughs> something like that, but I don't know. Did they pronounce it correctly? Um, yeah, I, I think. Eli Gold corrected him and said Peter Schaefer, but I don't know. It would be first if he said it. <laughs> Someone said it right. We, we, it. we joke about that. Is it, is it something that's like you're in class? Is it, is it always kind of funny to hear everybody, someone will try to pronounce yeah, it? Yeah, it's been, I mean, my whole life has been <laughs> someone, how do you say that? Or they'll just mess it up, and I won't, won't even correct them and say, go right. along with it, you know? What's the worst you've ever got here? The worst someone said by name? Yeah. Pearson Bacher. <laughs> they'll throw an N in there every now and then. I don't know where they get that, but. I'd say that. As someone with a fellow long last name, it was always like hard to learn to spell as a kid. Was it something that was like... Uh, I don't know. I think I picked up on it pretty quick. <laughs> <laughs> Any tricks to learning it? To, to yeah, I kind of got a rhythm. I gotta, sometimes I'll get lost and if I type it or something, I'll have to go back and <laughs> spell my own last name wrong sometimes. So. What kind of personality is Shank in the locker room? Shank, oh, he's, he brings a lot of juice. Um, you know, he's just fun to be around. Always ready to go, ready to play ball, and just kind of brings the energy to the O-line, so. You said you wanted to improve in some areas. What are some of those specific areas? Um, I'd just say getting stronger, just playing with more power, and just technique-wise, you know, you can always get better technically, so I'd say that would probably just that being a younger player. So Shank put up a video after the Georgia game with you guys, I guess, on the team bus, and somebody, I think it was Shank, was referring to Richard Mullaney as Slotty Pippen. Wait, where did that nickname come from? <laughs> I don't know. I, I heard him. I don't know if he... Does he play the slot? I don't know. Yeah, slot yeah. receiver, yeah. and I don't know. I, that was the first time I heard that too. So I was just kind of funny. Music? Yeah, I, I laughed. But <laughs> that was pretty interesting. So Ryan and other people have said obviously the offensive line needs to be kind of one unit. How is that? That that was a, kind of a work in progress, especially in the off season. How has that come along so far through the first you know, quarter of the season? You know, I think we've gotten better. Um, each game and just now it's just kind of more gelling together and being more consistent every play and just everyone doing their jobs and just competing and finishing blocks I'd say just that's what we need to work on. Does it feel like you're kind of a, a machine yet you know where you're all working in 
together or is there still moments when you can tell <laughs> we need to make their, these improvements? I mean, yeah, we always need to improve and um, that's what we're working on each and every day. So um, I just say we're trying to get there, but I don't think it'll ever, you know, you can never be satisfied. And so. Now that he's more comfortable, what's it like having Coker behind you? Um, it's fun, you know, just getting to play with these guys, They're great guys, great players, and just seeing how they gel. You know, it's it's fun playing, winning football, and um, it just makes it a lot more fun for us. And it's nice knowing that we have a guy like that behind us. So. All right.